Well, hello, pets. 2023 was a year like no other. There were good times, which often felt outweighed by the bad. But if you've made it this far, then I want to say, well done you. Let's go all the way back to January. There was a big debate over whether Prince Andrew should attend the coronation. No prizes for guessing my thoughts on that one. Later that month, Jane and I had a wild night out at a concert for the band The 1975. Did I mention yet that my son Matty is in that band? It's, uh, it, it's doing very well. Anyway, to February, when the ever-inspiring loose woman Sophie Morgan started her Rights on Flights campaign, which eventually caught the attention of no less than President Biden. Go on, Soph, we are very, very proud of you. And our Stacey popped out yet another little nipper, little Belle. Congratulations to Stacey and Joe. To March now, when poor old Matt Hancock's WhatsApps were leaked. My heart goes out to you, Matt. I'm surprised that you even found them. Later that month, we sadly lost national treasure, our friend Paul O'Grady, who went to join his beloved buster up in the sky. And we will always miss you, Paul. To the summer, where the world was gripped by the story of the Titan submersible and its tragic end. For anyone struggling with loss this Christmas, please know that we send you all our love and support. In other news, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson and someone very vocal about population control welcomed his ninth, we think, child, <laughs> Frank Alfred Odysseus. In August, football nearly came home as our Lionesses made the World Cup finals. Get on, lasses! And in September, us loose women embarked on our first ever live tour and we loved every single meeting with every one of you. Later in the year now, and in November, Harry and Meghan were all over the papers after author Omid Scobie released his latest tell-all book, Endgame. And once again, the nation was divided. Well, not me. Team Harry and Meghan all the way. <laughs> the COVID inquiry finally kicked off, but like many, I'm left wondering if any lessons will be learned from what happened. As Sam won I'm a Celebrity and Ellie took the glitter ball, the year ended with some highs and lows for me personally. Social media was awash with exaggerated rumours of my death. Apparently, I had been run over by a mobility scooter driven by some ex-Big Brother winner. But sorry, folks, Denzi is alive and well and truly kicking. But ending 2023 on a high, I played the role of my career, our late great Queen Elizabeth herself, in Diana the Musical. To my humble public, I express my thanks for your support for all of us loose women throughout the past 12 months. Wherever you are in Great Britain, be it Newcastle, Glasgow, Cardiff, Middlesbrough, Macclesfield, Devon or Lincoln, I wish you all a very happy Christmas. <laughs> Absolutely, you got the job, you got the job. Thank you. And that little mention of Lincoln at the end. Sublime, <laughs> she didn't get it in.